All right, so I have this dome. And I, I need to make a door for it. I have windows for my window holes that I can just put in easily. But I, I think I have an idea of how to make the door that involves taking the piece that I cut out for the door hole and hold on, just give me like an hour and I'll be right back. All right, here's the piece that was like the part of the dome that I cut out to put this door section on. And I, I put four screws on it and screwed it into place there and kind of mashed it down so it would conform to the square shape, which bowed it out a lot this way, which is kind of nice. Anyway, then I cut off the top and the bottom just, you know, so it's the right height. And now I need to, uh, I want to put fiberglass from the door around the edge. So it'll end up having a lip all the way around. Kind of like with my, my mold, you know, it has this lip to, to give it rigidity. I have to say, this is one of the more uh, ghetto things I've decided to do. But I just taped some paper from the door to the edge and the paper extends like out to here. And uh, I'll show you from the outside. I just took a whole bunch of fiberglass strips and smeared them from the door around on the paper. And uh, you know, the paper isn't very strong, so I couldn't roll it on. I just took these and kind of dipped them in my little resin bucket there and then like kind of gently pushed them on there. There's some wet ones at the bottom, but I think these ones up here are dry. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. And I'm hoping that with the paper thickness, it'll leave enough of a gap that it'll be easy to take this off and put it on, you know, to open and close the door. I'm not sure how I'm going to get this bottom part done, though. I'm all out of cardboardy paper. Let me see if I can find some magazine covers or something. Oh look, I can actually find a use for these guys. Oh, oh man, what a cool door. <laughs> all right, I've got both sides and the top fiberglassed. Do I want to try doing the bottom here at the risk of having fiberglass fall off from gravity? Or do I want to try taking the whole door off and flipping it over? Ah, oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll try the bottom, see how it goes. I don't need the bottom to go over quite so much, so maybe I'll be all right. Oh, huh. okay, I guess that worked. Now, how do I get the door off when I've fiberglassed over my screws? Oh, do I want to drill out the screw on this side and then unscrew it? We'll go in from the other side and just cut them. All right, I could just grab the screws from this side, twist them to unscrew the door, and then when I rip the door off, just uh, kind of pull these out through the fiberglass of the door to kind of twist them and break them out. Then it'll, it'll rip a little bit of the fiberglass on the inside here, but the fiberglass on the outside will cover the holes. So. All right, let's give that a try. Yeah, I need to wait a little bit. It's still a bit soft. I guess I could make the door hinges while I'm waiting. Yeah. Oh, I just heard someone say dinner time. The sun's getting pretty low. Yeah, that's it for today. How do I get this door off? I just entrotted the dome. 
And there are like no leaks in here, which is weird because I haven't sealed any of the seams and it's been raining for a while. It's gotta be some leaks. Anyway, that's a good sign. Alright, with any luck, unscrewing these screws will push the door right out. Oh, nice! turn of events that has happened in a while. I actually have a handle! Hmm. Cool. Nice work on the hinges. I only put three, I'll probably put another one up here somewhere. Suppose I should loosen my door a little. Maybe cut off some of the corner here so it doesn't fit so snug. Maybe trim a bit at the bottom too. Pretty good though. Yeah, nice door. Looks like it's freaking bomb proof. It's funny, this whole thing is like two millimeters thick. A while ago, someone was selling these windows real cheap. So I bought a whole bunch of them, 10 of them, and they're four foot by four foot, which happens to match my dome windows, and that's because I made those to match these windows. Oh, well, they're looking pretty good. Just need to rivet them in. screens which will totally let the tiny little bugs in. So I'm gonna have to replace that screen with other screen which I happen to have. Oh I almost need to change the name from dome to home. Whew. Are you guys eating some food? Okay good. <laughs> <laughs> 